Millions of women, mainly from Africa and Asia, work as domestic servants in the Middle East. But many face harsh conditions and are trapped in what's seen as a brutal form of modern-day slavery. Under a system known as kafala, their passports are confiscated and they're bound to their employer, risking punishment or imprisonment if they try to get out. A new documentary, Made in Hell, is the first part of the BBC's Why Slavery series and it follows employment agents who vividly describe the trade as well as maids who struggle to find a way home after harrowing, sometimes deadly experiences. Let's take a look. <laughs> Well, joining me now is Mete Hoffman, Mayor, the executive producer of that documentary, Made in Hell, and also chief executive of The Why, a Danish charity whose films promote human rights and try to get them to different audiences all around the world. Uh, we saw there something of the work of the agents, the middlemen, and you've got some extraordinary access there. Yeah, we have been uh, working hard. Uh, the filmmaker, Søren Klobo, has worked for four years to get that access. and tried here and there but it's it is extraordinary uh, what we see and what we hear uh, basically they they trade uh, people as commodities these girls uh, who have a hope to go to to the middle east to get a, a decent job and earn money for their families back home and, and as they trade them they classify them don't they yeah there are scenes where they sit and say i like the Ghanaian girls better than the Kenyans because the Kenyans they don't work so hard they are better educated and the girls from Ghana work harder and they kind of have different uh, rates for them which is of course which I mean that's actually really what has surprised me or all for this for the season of the six films that it's so normal to trade yeah. people it's a it's a systemic but it's also normal on a local um, perspective and these these uh, they call themselves recruiting agents they don't i don't really think they see it as uh, something wrong uh, it's, that's it's just the way of the world that's the way the are. world is and maha also says at some point that uh, there's no human rights in the middle east uh, and obviously we kn we know that that uh, that goes for many places in the world uh, yeah we can talk about about uh, you know this kind of modern slavery as a global system but particularly in the Middle East particularly in the Gulf this just seems to be accepted these are largely women who are invisible but useful yes it's a it's an accepted system and it's uh, supported often by the governments uh, and uh, what we want to do with the why and the why slavery season is to to put focus on it to make sure people know that modern slavery exists people in general don't know it exists and that's what we want to do we also make sure that the films get out in the countries involved uh, it, with this particular film it, it will go out in Swahili in Kenya Tanzania and most you know also in Ghana and Mozambique in their local languages and uh, Lebanon and you know in Arab uh, Arabic also BBC Arab but also at local TV Al yeah, Jazeera. That's very important yeah, to try yeah. to kind of spread uh, the insight that you're uh, getting. There's also, of course, always the issue of how can you protect largely women when they're so far from home. I mean, you have this appalling story of the Kenyan worker. Is it Mary? Yeah. Who who is so badly wounded yeah she's basically burned and uh, and uh, it's not really we don't really know what happened but she is burned so uh, uh, all over her body the host or the agents tells uh, the family that she will come back by playing uh, and she's fine she can walk she can talk and she basically gets back to Kenya and dies very shortly after from her burn so it's it's very uh, it's it's a very a disturbing uh, film to see but it's also hope there's also hope there's a minister who try and, and change the, the rules and regulations. Yeah we see those pictures there of Mary just before yeah. she died and I know that you are also talking to politicians around the world here in London for example you've been and briefed 
at the Foreign Office. Yes. Uh, and there is a focus here on, on tr the need to combat modern slavery. Yeah. I, I mean, there's 40 million at least, I believe, after having worked with it for six years, uh, that uh, it's much more. It's the tip of the, it's, it's the top of the mountain, the uh, iceberg, yeah. what's it called? <laughs> Uh, uh, but I think it's many more. It's very systemic, and uh, and we try and uh, we also had a screening at the EU. We launched at the UN uh, General Assembly, where we show clips from also the other films uh, selling children in India, where the Indian government themselves reckon that they have between 15 and 30 million children being bought and sold uh, for work in, in very, very bad conditions. So it, there's a, I think Wilberforce, the English uh, original fighter the to anti -slavery the anti-slavery campaign, campaign mm. said, you may want to turn your head away, but you can never again say you did not know. And that's what we try to do. that is the point of your work yeah, here. Yeah. Meta Hoffman Mayer, we have to leave it there. But thank you so much. And just to tell our viewers, you. you can see uh, Meta's full documentary, Made in Hell, over the weekend here on BBC World News. And that's the first of five documentaries from the BBC's Why Slavery series.